Hello, Imelda Xiomara. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Hello, Aida Marisol. Good evening. Welcome to the class. It's nice to see you tonight. How are you? Hello, teacher. That's okay. <laughs> Today is excellent. Today was an excellent day. That is perfect. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, it was. Yes, yes it was. It was. <laughs> okay, that is excellent. Uh, welcome to the class. So, uh, Ida Marisol, so yesterday we were talking about the Peter exam. Uh, can you please tell me if you have already taken this exam? Uh, Mira exam? Yes, the Peter exam. Did you finish it? Yes. Ah, okay, that is excellent. Was it easy or difficult? Easy. Ah, excellent. That was very easy for you. Yes. Great. Great, then. Uh, have you already started with the section number four? No. No yet? Okay. Okay. okay if you have time, you can start working on that section, right? There isn't any problem with that. <clears throat> So for tonight, we're going to have uh, feedback about the midterm exam. We are going to continue practicing some topics that we have been studying during the first three sections, right? Um, that is what we're yes. going to do tonight. Okay, teacher. Hello, Alfredo, good evening. How are you tonight? I'm doing okay, sir. And what about you, sir? How are you, how are you doing this day? I'm very good. Thank you. It was a very good day. I'm so happy. Uh, Alfredo, I have a question for you. Did you finish the meter exam on the platform? Uh, not yet, sir. Not yet, sir. I will do it. Uh, I will do it uh, today. Okay. So you're going to finish that tonight. That is excellent. So don't forget to do it, please. Remember that you have to finish that during this week, section number three, and also the meter exam. It is important to complete the platform. Yes, I will do it for sure. Okay, that is excellent. So let's start with tonight's class. For tonight's class, we have a feedback, right? We had a feedback about the meter exam. It is supposed that everybody has already finished that activity on the platform. So let's go with topic for tonight. Okay, meet our exam uh, review. Welcome to the class number eight. And this is the lesson objective for tonight. Let me show you, we do the presentation. Um, I'm sharing with you my presentation. Can you please tell me if you can see it? Can you see the presentation? Yes, yeah, sir, we can see it. Thank you so much, Kevin. So in this session- Yes, yes, teacher. Thank you, Aida. In this session, students are going to use the grammatical structure and vocabulary learned in the first three sections to share their ideas with their classmates in small conversations. So for tonight class, you are going to put in practice, right? The vocabulary and also the structure that you learn in these three sections. And then let's start with this. Do you remember these expressions? Frequency, adverb, and time expressions. So we use them to answer the question, how often do you and do you ever? So we have the following frequency adverbs. Always, usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, and never. 
and we learn how to use this time expression every day, once a week, twice a month, three times a year, often or much. So let's see, for example, how often do you exercise? How often do you exercise? Then we can use the time expression to answer it and you say, I exercise every day. I exercise once a week. I exercise twice a month. I exercise three times a year. I exercise much. So now, do you ever exercise? And you say, I always exercise. I usually exercise. I often exercise. I sometimes exercise. I hardly ever exercise. I never exercise. Okay? Now, following this structure, right? I plus the frequency adverbs plus the activity. So I usually cook. I never clean my house. I sometimes go shopping. I often study English. I usually, uh, I usually watch TV. I always go to work um, and so on, right? So the expression every day, once a week, twice a month, they go at the end of the sentence. And then they say, I cook lunch every day. I eat pupusas once a week. So at the end of the sentence, I clean my house twice a week. I go shopping twice a month. I buy shoes three times a year. They are at the end of the sentence. So using these frequency adverb in these time expressions to express frequency, we are going to practice in the following. So look at these activities. Play computer game, listen to English songs, chat online, do weight training. Weight training means uh, levantar pesas, bueno, entrenamiento con la de pesas, travel to other countries, sing karaoke, cook for friends, go swimming, watch all movies. So do you like all movies? Like Pedro Infante in Cantinflas movies, do you like them? No, really? Yes, yes, teacher. I like them. No, I don't like them. Yes, teacher. I like. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So all movies like El Padrino, right? Those are some classical movies that we really enjoy watching again. El Infante. <laughs> yes, right. Um, Vicente Fernandez too, right? He has good. He had good movies too. Hmm. So look at the following example. Um, do you ever play computer games? Yes, I sometimes play them. What's your favorite game? I like Star Blaster. How well do you play it? Not very well, but I'm getting better. When do you play it? I usually play it before bed. How often do you play it? Almost every night. So look at this. We have already studied this question. Right? Do you ever? ¿Alguna vez haces esta actividad? What's your favorite? ¿Cuál es tu favorito? How well do you play it? And how often do you play it? We study this question. So following this example, we are going to practice with the activities that we have above. So let's start with play computer game. Do you ever play computer games, Alfredo? Yes, sir. I always uh, play computer uh, video games. What is your favorite? Uh, we call it Warzone. I played uh, online with my friends. They are not from oh. this country, actually. They are from Mexico, Colombia, and the U.S. How well do you play it? I'm pretty good. I played uh, very well. When do you play it? Today, in the morning, actually. How often do you play it? Uh, I play. I always played uh, video games sir. every day. Uh, okay, so every day. Do you say uh, every day? Very good. Excellent answers. That was great. So let's go with Aida Marisol. Uh, Aida, do you ever play computer games? 
No, I don't know. Ah, okay, you say, no, I never no, play computer game. I never game. play computer game. Okay, excellent sentence now. No, I never play computer games. Y hasta ahí llegan las preguntas, ¿no? porque nunca juega videojuegos. That is great. And no. let's go I, with... I listen to music in English song. Ah, okay. Ya vamos a ir a ese ejercicio, a esa actividad. Hey, Chris, let's go with Kevin, Eduardo. Hello, Kevin. Good evening. How are you tonight? I'm fine. T-shirt. Excellent. Good to know. So, Kevin, tell me, do you ever play computer games? No. In this moment, uh, I don't like it, the video games. Ah, okay. Say, no, I never play computer games. I don't like them. Can you please say those sentences? No, I never play computer games. I don't like computer games. Or I don't like them. I don't like computer games. Okay, thank you, Kevin, for your answer. Now let's say Maria Magdalena. Do you ever play computer games? Yes, sometimes play them. What's your favorite? Uh, my favorite is Mortal Kombat. It's How well so do you old. play it? Mm, I'm very good, I think. When do you play it? Actually, at night, on weekends. Okay. Uh, well, you have already answered the next question. How often do you play it? You say uh, every weekend, right? I play it every weekend. Very good. Mm -hmm. Um, what is your favorite character of Mortal Kombat? Is it Sub Zero, Scorpio? <laughs> no, it's Sonia. Sonia, okay. Yeah. yeah. Is it? It's old. It's a. Yeah. It's a girl. Oh yeah. Um, I remember her. I remember her very well. And Raiden is the name of the guy with lightning and all those things. Raiden, that was my favorite char uh, character of this game. Thank you so much for your answer. You did a great job, Maria Magdalena. Then let's change the activity. Now let's go with listen to English song. And let's go with. Ah, okay, Joanna Maria, I understand. Don't worry. Let me see. I have another message here. Let us see. Okay, Ana Gabriela, too, I understand very well. So, no problem with that. Abel, good evening. Okay, then let's see. Listen to English son. Do you ever listen to English son? Anyone until to answer? Do you, do you ever listen English son? Just one answer and then move to the to the other activity, chat online. Listen to English son. Do you ever listen to English son? Mm, let's see, Aida. Aida Marison, do you ever listen to English son? Yeah. <clears throat> Yes, I. Yes, I listen to English songs. How often? Mm, usually. Okay. Can you in, please say the complete sentence? In the morning. Sentence? In the okay. morning. In the morning, thanks. So can you say the complete sentence? Uh, do you ever listen to English songs? And you say, yes, I usually listen to them. Okay, yes, I usually <clears throat> listen to them. Okay, yes, I usually listen to them. Excellent. Now, what is your favorite English song? Um... Rock, pop. Okay, excellent. That's nice. Then how often do you listen to English song? Every day. Every day in the morning. 
every day in the morning. Excellent. Then let's go with another activity, chat online. Mm. Let's go with Kevin. Do you ever chat online, Kevin? Uh, yes, teacher. Always, always then. Okay, say the complete sentence. Yes, I always chat online. Yes, I always chat, chat online. Perfect now. That's great. So what is your favorite application? WhatsApp teacher. Oh, WhatsApp is your person. That is nice. Thank you so much. So let's see, do weight training, Alfredo. Do you ever do weight training? Uh, what is the question again? Do you ever do weight training? No, teacher. I never uh, do weight training. Sir. Thank you so much. Let's see. Who more is in the class? Maria Magdalena. Uh, do you ever travel to other countries? No, I don't. I never travel to other countries. Thank you so much for your answer. Alfredo, again. Do you ever see karaoke? Uh, no, sir. I I never see karaoke, sir. Thank you. Let's go with Aida. Aida, do you ever cook for your friends? Do you ever cook for your friends? Yes. Se me olvidó, teacher. Yes. Yes, I. Adverbio de frecuencia y la actividad. Okay, yes, is in once a week. Mm, okay, you say, yes, I cook for my friends once a week. Say the sentence, please. Yes, yes I, cook I cook for my friends. For my friends. Once a week. Once a week. Excellent mm. sentence. Now, then, Kevin, do you ever go swimming? Yes, teacher. Uh, I I go to swimming uh, tri twice, a, twice a week. Excellent. So, yes, I go swimming twice a week. Perfect sentence. Thank you. And let's go with the last one. Maria Magdalena, do you ever watch all movies? Yes, I always uh, watch all movies on weekends. That is great. What is your favorite movie? Is Mexican, uh, Los Angelitos Negros. Oh, really? Yeah, oh. Pedro Infante. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Probably I have already watched this movie, but I don't remember. It's that very, movie. very old. <laughs> oh. It's in blanco y negro. Can you please repeat the name? I'm going to look for that. Probably it's uh, Los Hispanic. Angelitos Negros. Okay. Okay, the little angels, the little black angels. Great. Thank you so much, Maria Magdalena, for your answer. So in this way, we use the this vocabulary, right, to answer this type of questions. De esa manera utilizamos los adverbios de frecuencia y las expresiones de tiempo. Don't forget, please, frequency adverbs after the subject. Time expression at the end of the sentence. Thank you so much for your participation in this. Um, now let's go with the next question. How long do you spend? Do you remember this question? How long do you spend watching movies? How long do you spend listening to music? How long do you spend using your cell phone? How long do you spend watching TV? How long do you spend working? Uh, how long do you spend relaxing? How long do you spend resting? How long do you spend reading a book? How long do you spend studying? How long do you spend cooking? How long do you how long do you spend talking with your family? So let's see. Maria Martinez. Hello, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you tonight? Good evening. I hope so. So, so, what's wrong? 
I was today very much work. Oh, it was a very busy day. Okay, don't worry, right? Oh, you are going to rest in some minutes. Uh, can you help me please asking three questions to Maria Magdalena, please? And then you say, Maria, how long do you spend watching movies? And Maria is going to answer saying a period of time, right? So I spend watching movies three hours, uh, four hours, one hour, okay? Maria, is it okay? Maria Magdalena, is it okay? Yes, it's okay. Let's okay. start, Maria Martinez. Can you please ask the first three questions? Me está pidiendo que diga que veo en la televisión, ¿verdad? ¿Con qué uh, frecuencia en la televisión? No, no really. Va a practicar con María Magdalena. Usted le va a hacer tres preguntas de estas y María Magdalena va a responder. Ok. Thanks for explaining. You're María welcome. Magdalena, how long do you spend relaxing? Well, I spend relaxing at night after the class uh, mm -hmm. of English, after the English class. Okay, but uh, how much time? Maybe 20 minutes. Uh, okay, it is, I spend relaxing 20 minutes. Say okay. the sentence, please. I spend relaxing 20 minutes. Next okay. question. How long, pardon, how long do you spend studying? Studying. I spend studying one hour per day. The last question. How long do you spend cooking, Maria Magdalena? I hardly ever cooking. But <laughs> sorry, but I spend cooking an a half of hour. Uh half an hour in a week, probably. <laughs> <laughs> in a month, but uh, in a month, really? <laughs> no, 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 probably uh, in a week. Okay, for a week. Thank you so much. Um, very good job, Maria Martinez, Maria Magdalena. I really like your question and answer. Thank you. The little listen, Alfredo and Aida. Can you tell me, please? Um, uh, Aida, can you please ask the question to Alfredo? Three questions, please. How long do you spend in the activity? Okay, Alfredo, verdad? Yes. Hello, Alfredo. Um, do you usually listen to music? Oh, uh, yes, I usually listen to English music. Hey, uh, how often watch TV? I hardly ever watch TV. Uh, how long reading a book? Uh, I read the book uh, from time to time, once a week. Thank you so much. Very good, right? But you didn't use this structure, right? And uh, she asked uh, some other question, but they were nice, right? And Alfredo could answer very good the question too. Thank you so much, Aida, and thank you so much, Alfredo. So now let's send Abel and Abel and Kevin. Can you, Kevin? Can you please ask the question to Abel? How long do you spend? And the question. Okay. Uh, how uh, Abel? How long do you spend working?
Hello, Abel, are you there? Mm, let me see if it worked me. No, just Joanna and Anna. Abel, hello, Abel, are you there? Can you listen to us? Well, then ask me the question. I'm going to answer. Can you please repeat your question? Kevin? Yes. Um, how long do you spend working? Um, I spend working like 10 hours. 10 hours a day. Next 10 question. 10 hours? Oh, man. <laughs> okay. Um, how long do you do you cooking? Okay. Do you spend cooking? I never cook. You never cook? Oh my God. <laughs> okay. And the last question. How long do you spend watching movies? I spend watching movies like four to six hours a week. So good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Very good practice. Uh, don't forget how long do you spend uh, plus the activity and we answer it with a period of time, right? Y es como, ¿cuánto tiempo pasas haciendo esta actividad? ¿Cuánto tiempo gastas en esta actividad? How long do you spend uh, talking with your family? This is important. How long do you spend talking with your family, Alfredo? Um, I spend talking to my family uh... Let's say it, uh, three hours per day. Oh, that is excellent. Very good. So how long do you spend talking with your family, Aida? <laughs> In 24 hours every day. <laughs> 24 hours every day. Okay. Okay, Aida, that is great. And when I was Kevin, how long do you spend talking with your family? Oh, I spend talking with my family um, between two and three hours for the night, always. At night, always, that is excellent. At, Very at good. night, yeah. At night, okay, nice. Maria Magdalena, how long do you spend talking with your family? I spend talking with my family every day, at night too, because I work whole day mm, okay that is excellent then let's see maria martinez how long do you spend uh, talking with your family teacher sorry hello. for being late <laughs> hello teacher i spell in the weekend because I live far, far away with my father and brothers. Okay, so you visit then on the weekend? Yes, I visit the yeah, talk with my family. Okay, thank you for your answer. Thank you for sharing with us. Hey, hello, Jose Daniel. Don't worry. Welcome to the class. How are you tonight? Yeah, it's okay, teacher. And you? I'm very good. Thanks for asking me. So, are you ready to start practicing tonight? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, excellent. So, now let's go with this. What can you remember about yesterday? Did you go to ask? I mean, uh, what, did, what can you remember? Did you say, I got up early, me levanté temprano, I went to class. I made a phone call, I went shopping, I ate at a restaurant, I did the laundry, I did the dishes, I watched TV, I exercised, I went to bed late. So do you remember? Did you do some of this activity yesterday? Yes, I remember. What did you do yesterday? Can you please tell me? Um, I got up. Sorry, sorry. Uh, I got up early at 5 a.m. And I went to the high school with my brother. And, and I watched TV with my 
uh, girlfriend and I did exercise. Very good. I can see that you remember some of your activities, some yesterday activities. Now, Maria Magdalena, what did you do yesterday? Did you do some of these activities? Yes, I did the dishes, the laundry, watched TV, I, and I went to bed late. Too late. <laughs> Too late? What time did you go to bed? <laughs> Uh, 11. At 11 o'clock? Yes, yes you're right. Clock. That is too late. Thank you for your answer, Aida. What did you do yesterday? Which activities do you remember about yesterday? I went to the bed late. <laughs> oh, okay, I went to bed late. Okay, any other activity? My son is sink. Mm, can you please repeat? My son is. I don't care it. Okay, my son is sick. Oh, your son is sick. Yes. Ah, okay, so you were taking care of him last night. That's why you went to bed late, and now I can understand. Okay, I'm sorry for you, poor you, right? I hope that you yes. rest tonight. Is he better today? I went to, to the clinic? Yes. Medical okay. center. Sure. Is he yes. better now? Está mejor el ahora? Yes. Thanks, God. Good to know. Yes, I eat the three, three activities. <clears throat> yes, tell me. Oh. Mm. I went to the class in the night. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> okay, very good. Thank you so much, Aida. And so what did you do yesterday, right? Activity that you did in simple past. We use simple past to answer this question. What did you do yesterday? Then you say, I got up early. I did the dishes. I did the laundry. I washed my car. I have glasses. I studied, I exercised, I slept. Pasé durmiendo todo el día. Qué genial. And then, let's see, my last birthday. What do you remember about your last birthday? So let me show you these examples. My last birthday was the most memorable birthday till date. It was January 31st, 2023, when I was going to be 34 years old. And uh, that was a very special day as it was my birthday. I woke up early at 6.30 a.m. because my family sent a special song for me and they gave me some gift. Also, I was hugged by all of them. So my last birthday, what do you remember about your last birthday? This is in my case, right? My last birthday was the most memorable birthday till date. Uh, fue el mejor cumpleaños hasta esta fecha. That is the meaning of that, till date. Y it was January 31st, 2023, when I was going to be 34 years old. That was a very special day as it was my birthday. I woke up early at 6.30 a.m. because my family sent a special song for me. Happy birthday to you, right? And they gave me some gift. Also, I was helped by all of them. Me dieron regalos y todos me abrazaron. So that is what I remember about my last birthday. What do you remember about your last birthday? That is the question in this part. ¿Qué se acuerdan de su último cumpleaños? Any volunteer to answer the question? Me too, sure. Uh, 
in my last birthday, uh, I went to the to the church in the morning, and and then I ate uh, with my whole family uh, in the in the food, right? In the afternoon. And in the night, uh, I went to the to the restaurant only, uh, just only with my family. Um, I have uh, I have three three sisters and and one and one uh, brother and my parents, right? And that 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 day uh, was was so 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 good for me and and to a, a a very very little sad because eh, eh, como se podría decir eh, que fui eh, despedido de, de okay. un trabajo I was a little sad because I was fired of oh. my job. Okay, and entonces, uh, I was a little sad because I I, I was uh, fired in 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 my job because um I uh, I had I had a sick in in this moment and for for that uh, um, ya no pude estar ahí, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh, for me, uh, uh, it was uh, so so sad that, but my family um, uh, um, ¿cómo se podría decir? Hizo. Made. Ah, my family made that day is so happy. Okay, excellent. Very good. Thank you for sharing with us that. Thank you so much, Kevin. Very good sentences. Just to say, I had a sick. And then you say, I was sick. I was sick. Yo estaba enfermo. I was sick. Ahora, si va a decir el padecimiento que tenía, entonces si utilizamos had. I have the flu. I have a fever. So I have a headache. En ese caso, sí. Pero si es la palabra sick, digo, I was sick. Yo estaba enfermo. The rest of your sentence is very good. Thank you so much, Kevin. Any other volunteer who wants to okay, tell teacher. me? Okay, Thank you for the recommendation. Oh, you're welcome. We are learning. So it was a pleasure. Thank you, Kevin. Uh, anybody? Any other volunteer? What do you remember about your last real day? Me, teacher. Tell me, Alfredo. I want to I wanna share my story about my last birthday. Actually, it was uh, a little sad because I was working uh, all day. Uh, I woke up so early and went to my job. And actually, my car just broke down on the street. And I, I called... Uh, um, I call uh, to my older uh, brothers to um, for help actually for help and then when I I went um, to my office and I came too late and my boss just uh, punished me due to the lateness and, um, that was actually at my work when I went when I arrived at home my mom uh, have a gift for me and she gave me a uh, huge um a huge uh, gift actually it was a pet she gave me a pet it was a dog actually um and that's it i can say thank you fredo uh very good thanks for sharing with us your uh it's memories about your last birthday i'm sorry for that right and as that happened, right? We had good and bad days in our lives, right? But don't worry, right? Everything is okay now. And I'm pretty sure that the gift of your mother uh, will be in your memory forever, right? Probably that That's was right. 
that was the best thing of that day, right? That that was actually the gift uh who made um uh, my date so happy at that moment. Okay, very good. Thank you so much, Alfredo. So the last person, uh, what do you remember about your last birthday? Yes, the last one. Me teacher. Thank you so much, Jose Daniel. Tell me. Okay, uh, my last birthday uh, was super fun uh, because I had a great time, great time with my family and my girlfriend. Uh, we visited Quatepeque Lake uh, and we bathed and ate a lot of a lot of food. And mm -hmm. that's right. That's it. I can see that you had a very nice birthday. Uh, that was yes. great. So how do you say lago in English again, please? Lake. Okay, excellent. Lake. Very good. Thanks. Thanks, Jose Daniel. Excellent. So you had a happy birthday. Nice. Uh, okay, let's go with the next thing. Thank you so much for your participation in this part. Now, what do you remember about your last vacation? Look at my example. My last vacation was a lot of fun and have a lot of fun activities that I enjoy. I also made some fun new friends and I hung out with them a few times. I went to the beach and enjoyed the sunshine and swam. We enjoy camping and sitting by the fires, eating some snacks while talking and having fun. So that is uh, my memories about my last vacation. So what are yours? Do you remember your last vacation? Teacher, a mí no me dan. Yo trabajo los 365 días del año. Nobody? Just two, two people in this activity. What do, you, what do you remember about your last vacation? Can you please share with me? Anybody? What do you remember about your last vacation? Hello, teacher. Hello, Maria Martinez. I, yo lo voy a intentar. <laughs> okay, do it. Thank you. Okay. My, life, my last vacation, I was... Le quiero decir que las tomé como en pequeñas porciones. Como... Uh, I took them little by little. I take little by little. And one week I have to do today. I was go to the my uncle to the visit my uncle in Metapan City. And next weekend, I have two days. I visit, I went visit my family, my father and my, my brother and my sister, and rest for la mayoría del tiempo descansé, quiero decir. Okay, and then you say, um, most of the time I rested at home. Most of the time I rested at home. La mayoría del tiempo descansé en casa. Most of the time I rest my home. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. So yes, I visited. I visited my uncle. I visited my uncle. And also you can say, I went to visit. I went to visit. The rest, very good. Thank you so much for sharing with us your memories about the last vacation. The last person in this part. Well, let's move to the other one. Yesterday activities. What did you do yesterday? So I'm pretty sure that you remember it very well. So I woke up early. I have a delicious breakfast. I drank a big cup of coffee. I went to work. I worked the whole day. In the evening, I was so tired. I cooked the dinner. I ate pupusas. 
They were so tasty. I had my English class. I saw some exercise on the English course platform and I went to bed at 11 p.m. as Maria Magdalena. So <laughs> these are my yesterday activities. What are yours? Just one, who wants to share? What did you do yesterday? Just one and we move to another activity. So tell me. What did you do yesterday? Any volunteer? One, two, three, four, five. Let's see, Claudia Dimas, can you help me in this part, please? Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Welcome. How are okay. you today? Okay, fine, fine. Thanks. Well, uh, yesterday, my yesterday activities, uh, I work, woke up at 4 a.m. and I went to my work. Uh, I drank a big a cup of coffee too. Um, I taught in the classes. I taught? I taught uh, informatics in my in my work and I I went to my house for uh, breakfast uh for lunch sorry for lunch and after that I went to my work again um at night, I went to my daughters at university, and at uh, no, that's that's all. That's all. Thank you so much. So you did a lot of activities, right? So Thanks. you are a teacher. That's great. Yes. <laughs> okay. Andres, excellent. Thanks. Very good sentences. And do you like coffee a lot? Yes. Excellent, too. So, thank you so much, Claudia. Very good sentences. I really appreciate that you participate in this activity. Thank you so much. Then, describe your neighborhood. This is the last activity for tonight. Um, I'm sorry for the resolution of this picture, right? But I couldn't find a, a, anyone better than this one. I apologize for that. Are you able to read? Are you able to read in this picture? Yes. Así yeah. como borroso, pero... But, but <laughs> yes, right? Yes. Okay. Bueno. Uh, okay, thank you so much. I apologize for this picture. So imagine you are a visitor in the student B's neighborhood, ask questions about it. So a student B, imagine a visitor wants to find out about your neighborhood, answer the visitor questions. So we are going to work in person this last activity and we are going to have a student A and a student B. A student A is going to imagine that he or she is a visitor in a student B neighborhood in el vecindario del estudiante B, and he is going to ask questions about it. And student B is going to imagine that a visitor wants to find out about his or her neighborhood. And he is going, or he or she is going to answer visitor questions. Let's see, for example, how much crime is there? There isn't much. It's a very safe neighborhood. Is there much noise? Well, yes, there's a lot. So, el estudiante A le va a hacer preguntas al estudiante B acerca de su vecindario. Uh, topics to ask about crime, noise, park, places to shop, pollution, public transportation, schools, and traffic. So, let's see, for example, how much crime is there in your neighborhood, Alfredo? Uh, could you repeat the question, sir? How much crime is there in your neighborhood? Uh, there isn't uh, much crime here. 
Oh, so it's a very safe neighborhood. And what about noise? How much noise is there? Uh, there isn't much noise uh, here either. Nice. And how many parts are there? Uh, actually, there there is one park. Perfect. Uh, so pollution. How much pollution is there? Uh, there is there is much uh pollution here. And what about public transportation? Uh, yeah. there is a lot of there is a lot of public transportation here. How many schools are there? Uh, there is one school uh, located in this neighborhood. And finally, traffic is there much traffic there? Yes, there is much traffic um here. Okay, thank you so much for your answer. Now, Alfredo, it's your turn to ask. Es su turno de preguntar. Puede preguntarle a María Magdalena, please. Can you ask this question to María Magdalena? Do we need to ask the same question you did ask to me? Uh, not really. Uh, three to five, it's okay. Okay. Um, Oh, Maria there... Magdalena. I'm, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Let's just start, please. Okay. Um. There is uh. There is uh many places to shop in your neighborhood. Yes, there are many. Okay. Uh, is there many public transport trans transportations there? Yes, there is because it's a touristic place. Okay. Uh, is there uh, many schools there? Yes, there is two. Uh, there are many students. Thank you so much, Alfredo. Just the last question. Is there many schools? Is it correct? No. Uh, can you correct it? Or do you need yeah. help? Is there um the, the, the correct and the correct question uh should be is there uh uh is there some schools there? And are are they some schools there? Okay, yes. Are there are there many schools? Are there many schools there? Yes, there are. And there are many students too. Okay, now that is the right question and the right answer. Thank you. So you say, are there many schools? Because school is count, right? It's count now. So we use, are there many? Si son incontables, ahí utilizamos is there. Thank you so much. Thank you, Alfredo and Maria Magdalena. Now, Maria Magdalena, it's your turn to ask the question. Can you please ask this question to, let's see, any volunteer to answer the question? If no volunteers, I'm going to pick up somebody. One, two, three, four, Five. Okay, no volunteers. Then I'm going to choose, let's see, Claudia, can you help me answer in the question, please? Okay, I try. Okay, Maria Magdalena, can you ask the question? Okay. Um, there are many parks in your neighborhood. Um, can you repeat? There are many parks in your neighborhood. Mm, there, there are two parks in my neighborhood. Okay, there is much traffic every day. Uh, yes. Uh, there is a lot of traffic. Uh, there are a few church. Mm, yes, there is. Uh, there are 
one church in my neighborhood. Thank you. Okay. okay. Thank you, Maria. Thank you, Claudia. Mm, I have one observation in this. Uh, Maria Magdalena, uh, you say affirmative sentences. When you say there are, the question is the verb P at the beginning of the question. Are there or is there? Okay. 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 Are there a few churches? Is that correct? Yes. Are there a few churches? Churches. Churches. Okay. And okay. okay, and Claudia, your last answer you say there are one church. Yes. Then, then what is the right sentence? There is a one church. There is one church. Very good. Yes. That was excellent. Now, thank you so much, Maria Magdalena and Claudia. And the last one, the last part, Kevin and Aida, can you help me? Aida, can you ask the question to Kevin, please? Okay. Kevin, how much screaming is there? Uh, repeat me the question, please. How much screaming is there? Uh, I don't understand the 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 last uh, how much crying is there oh no uh, there 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 isn't any crying here okay mm. how how many parks in your neighborhood uh there is there is one one park for 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 here uh in 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 front of my house uh, uh there, there there is one one park with 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 his uh swim next question Next is there question. much noise in your neighborhood? Uh, no, there isn't any noise here okay. because uh, here uh, um, silence. Como se, como se diría, casi, como se, uh, how, how do you say casi, teacher? Almost. Almost. Ah, all, almost. Uh, no, no, no mm. movie cars. For, for 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 this for the street okay okay thank you you can say the sentence there are there are a few cars there are a few cars in my neighborhood i focus cars there are a few cars there are a few cars yes you can use that sentence thank you so much now let's see um in the question how many parks uh, Aida, how many parts are there? Okay, how many, how many parts are there? <clears throat> and the answer must be is uh, there is right. There is one park that is the Kevin answer. There is one part in front of my house, and that's okay. There is one part in front of my house. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Now let's see. Um, just to finish, one question to everyone. Are you ready? Let's start with Maria Magdalena. So let's see. Give me a second. How much pollution is there in your neighborhood, Maria Magdalena? There is a lot. Thank you. Aida, how much crime is there in your neighborhood? Um, there is a um, no teacher no I, uh, how do you say is um es tranquilo o sea no casi no hay 
Okay, they say, how much crime is there? So you say, there isn't much. There, there is, isn't much. There isn't much, okay? Or there is a little, right? There is a little crime. Nice. Uh, let's go with... Uh, let's see, Alfredo. Are there many places to shop in your neighborhood? Oh, what is Alfredo? Hello. Uh, sorry, teacher. I was on a phone call. <laughs> okay, I understand. Don't worry. Okay, we have already finished with the class. Uh, thank you so much uh, for your participation, for your answers in, during this class. I really appreciate your help when solving the exercises. Uh, please, um, um, I will ask you a favor, right? Complete the section number three in the meter exam if you can for tonight or tomorrow, right? And remember that in Safari, check this, right, every week. And it is important to have um, the word up to date, right? Tienen que tener su trabajo a, a la fecha que toca, ¿verdad? Um, actualizado, ¿verdad? So, para esta semana teníamos la sección 3 y el examen de medio curso, the midterm. So, it is really important that you complete your work and platform. If you have any question about some exercise, you can write on the WhatsApp group and I'm going to be happy to help you. Okay? If it is a difficult exercise there, so you can write in the WhatsApp group. If I can, probably your classmate are going to help you to solve it. But yeah. we, need, we need to finish the platform, okay? If no, the last day of classes, we're going to be so warm, right? And trying to solve everything, everything we're in one night. And we don't want that, right? Okay. No queremos que la última, el último día estemos todos ocupados en eso. Sino que vamos haciéndolo el trabajo que toca cada semana. Okay? Then that's it for tonight. Thank you so much for being here with me. I really appreciate this time learning English with you. Thank you guys and see you on Monday. Enjoy your weekend and spend time with your family and rest a lot. Bye bye. See you next class. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Bye. Good night. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you teacher. Bye bye. Bye -bye.